check out how nice this truck is. Got the bullet style cab lights on it. Yeah, it's a, it's a sweet truck. gentlemen welcome back to the channel and back to another food service truck and video and uh, as you can see we've got a completely different cockpit view today uh, we're in a Mac boys and girls we are in a Mac Anthem uh, this is a Penske a Penske rental truck that we've had sitting on the lot for a while so we've had this truck sitting on the lot for a couple of weeks now and it doesn't really get used, I guess, because it doesn't have the ELD hooked up to it. So they, they really don't want us to use paper logs, you know, if we don't you know, absolutely have to. So they called me earlier today and said, hey, you know, can you run up to Kansas City and grab one of our empty trailers that's sitting up there and bring it back? And... You know, of course, I'm like, yeah, that's no problem. Kansas City's super easy, super quick drive. And we had this truck sitting out on the lot. And this is pretty much the only tractor we had left. So naturally, I'm going to take the opportunity to take this Mac. So, yeah, it's definitely a lot different than the Freightliners <laughs> that I'm used to driving. Um, really, it's a, it's a really cool truck. I mean, you can tell as far as, like, the layout here, the interior. You know, it's a nice, you know, nice layout. You know, facing the driver. I mean, we've got all the different external gauges here. Um, it's got the push button Mac transmission, which is, it's not exactly my favorite. I prefer to have them on the stock, but you know, it's, it's been doing all right. Uh, it's a little bit tight in here compared to the Freightliners, but I mean, it's got like these racing, like race car style seats is almost what it looks like. And then the steering wheel, just nice, you know, kind of uh, a bulky, steering wheel it's got a little flat bottom it's pretty cool like this these trucks are always i've always liked them since they came out and uh it's pretty cool so i was glad to be able to kind of add it to my arsenal of of trucks that i've driven so i've got the freightliners i've driven one international and then we've got this mac now so i like to be able to drive different equipment and just to kind of experience it but uh, this truck it, it rides fairly fairly well we're riding bobtail up to kansas city uh, so for a bobtail, it's really fairly comfortable. Stays planted to the road pretty well. You know, it's not really all over the place. The Freightliners are kind of more all over the place. Uh, this one's not, and it's not. It's not a rough ride, like I expected it to be. But yeah, we've got an hour and forty minutes to until uh, we get there. It's actually a Penske yard that we use to, to as a uh, as a drop yard, and. A little shuttle site so we're gonna be pulling into the Penske yard grabbing one of our trailers and driving it back down to Springfield and that's it that's all we've got to do for the night so yeah it's, it's just it's pretty cool to be able to do some different stuff and make some different videos you know over just making this the same kind of you know delivery videos just on my same route now I'm used to driving these roads to go up to Kansas City because this is the way I have to go to get to Iowa so it's nothing different as far as what I've got to look at it's just uh, you know, just a, a little bit different little different location I'm going to but this truck's got full LED headlights LED turn signals um, all that stuff it's gonna go ahead and throw on our headlights it's getting dark out but yeah I mean that's a pretty cool truck man and we've got all these little switches up here to turn on our cab lights and stuff like that like I said it's a hundred percent different setup but and once you kind of get used to it, it's pretty cool. All right, here's the outside of the Mac, man. Check out how nice this truck is. Like, these are cool looking trucks, man. I love the fact that it's got no, no fairing on the roof. It's got the stack on it. Could use a stack on the other side. A little bit of chrome here and there. Aluminum wheels. Got the bullet style cab lights on it yeah it's a, it's a sweet truck definitely love the looks of it rides good yeah i think if i were to buy a truck i'd probably get one of these max for sure Quite a bit of traffic for what time is it? 
720. 19 minutes away from that yard, we're supposed to pick up the trailer. It's starting to sprinkle just a little bit. I know it's supposed to rain pretty good tomorrow. Um, but I didn't think it was gonna start out tonight. I don't know. But this truck though, I really like this truck. Uh, aside from it being a little bit smaller inside, the stereo is awesome. Like it sounds really, really good. Um, it rides pretty good. And I just, I love the rugged feel just of everything. Like the rugged look with the aluminum, all that stuff. Yeah, I just really like it. The way it looks on the outside. Yeah, I really like this truck. The transmission has been great. I haven't had any weird like gear slips or anything weird. Uh, of course, we're going to be trying to pull in a trailer, you know, back home. But you know, overall, you know, this Mac is definitely at the top of my list of, of trucks that I really enjoy driving. All right, here we go. Our exit's coming up here. See all the lights of Kansas City off in the distance. It should be a Penske yard from what I read. What I looked up on Google, it should be a Penske yard, so should be uh, should be nice and paved, easy to get to, easy to get to trailers. The roads out here are just absolutely rough, man. Like Kansas City, y'all need to work on your highways. Here in a moment, we turn right on red here. It doesn't say not to, so I'm assuming we can. If you guys are, I guess you're coming this way. I don't know. Doesn't say we can't turn right on red, so I'm turning right on red, man. Yeah, this Mac engine in this truck, it's got some, it's got some power, man. Like they did a good job not really turning this truck down a lot, because uh, you can really still feel the power in this engine. I mean, they've got it governed to 71 on the cruise control, so you know it's pretty good for being a Penske truck. Penske up here on the left. Let's see what it takes to get into this place. That's the exit. Entrance should be right here. Right across from the old Riley Auto Parts facility. Let's see. Let's see if we got any trailers in here, man. So that gate wasn't opening, so I just went around the other way. Kind of back here where everything's hidden. I don't know if they've got a... Probably should have asked somebody. Vistar. And this has got to be it. U.S. Foods over here. It looks like a lot of places use this as like a... A yard. There's a lot of U.S. food tractors right there. Huh. This is very interesting for sure. All right. So what we're going to do? I went up and asked them in the service center. Um, this is the only trailer that I see that's available. Got to make sure that it's empty. Hook up to this trailer. Take it out. Take it back to uh, Springfield. a lot of trucks in this yard man so that they're they're gonna be happy to have uh, open space over here Woo. I was gonna say this truck backs up nicely but does that whole thing where automatics always do Should be hooked up. Can go ahead and get this thing post trip or pre tripped and ready to rock and roll. Grab our flashlights, gloves. Should have a work light. Yeah, we're, there we go. Yeah, first of all, gotta make sure that uh, this trailer is empty. 
Hey, we've got some returns up there. Hmm. 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 Oh, what we've got going on up there. This is the only trailer I've I see in this yard, so I guess I'm just gonna have to take those returns and put them away. We got a lot of space between our tractor and trailer. That is for sure. She's locked in, we're good there. Good there. This is this must be an old trailer. All that good. Got the lights. Check out these tires, make sure we're not flat anywhere here. Last thing we need is a leaky trailer. All right, we are all hooked up, pre-trip done, ready to skedaddle ourselves back to, uh, back to Springfield. About 11 o'clock, probably a little bit later since uh, traffic and stuff like that. One more little tug test here just to be 100%. Yep. We are good to roll out, boys and girls. Throw some hazard lights on since we are moving around a yard. Not sure which way is the best way out of here. I don't know if that gate's gonna open for me, so I'm just gonna go this way. mention about this truck and it probably doesn't mean you know nobody else is really gonna care but I do because you know if you're like me and you've been into semis like since you were a kid then you always you, know, you always kind of care about the little details but check out this this air horn like it sounds like little legit like big truck air horns from like movies and I think it's because these are metal these are metal the ones on the other trucks are plastic, so they don't have that same sound, so I don't know. It's just a little a little thing that just, you know, it makes you makes you happy. It's those little details, you know, that you like to you like to pull your air horn and really hear a good air horn sound, you know. But yeah, I don't know. Some of you may not care, but I do. Well, we are back in town once again. It is well, 11 12. 11 12, not too terrible run back up there. I did stop in Grandview, Missouri and grab some Five Guys. I hadn't eaten anything since I got home from last night's trip at like 5 o'clock this morning. So I didn't eat anything since like 6 o'clock. So I figured I probably better eat something. Man, those guys were cool. If you're ever in Grandview, Missouri, up by Kansas City, stop by that Five Guys. Um, you know, they, they really appreciate truckers. Yeah, we're going to go down the road around the corner here and get parked up um do our paperwork stuff like that drop this trailer probably go park this truck back to where i got it from this morning uh because this is this isn't a truck that they send out on a route yeah for whatever reason I, I don't know what the reason is but they don't send it out on the routes uh very often unless they really need to so uh, it was fun to take it out today and get a different uh, different experience driving a different truck all right, we are back. Got the truck turned in. Um, I guess we're short on trucks still. I saw a few other different rental trucks, and and uh, they're gonna send that Mac out on a route. I guess t tomorrow or in the morning or this morning. It is. It's, it's midnight now. But yeah, dude, there's this is it's crazy. One of the drivers. There's three of us that went to Jonesboro, Arkansas last night. And there was me pulling a 48, and a guy pulling doubles, and another guy pulling a 48. And uh, I'm not quite sure what happened, but one of the, the other guy pulling the 48 got in a real bad accident to where his truck flew off the corner of some cliff out there and just destroyed that truck. And I guess he's in the hospital and it's just, 
he's he's real lucky to even be alive and it's just it's crazy cause, and that just goes to show you know anything anything can happen to anybody and you got to be real careful you know, make sure you're awake make sure you're ready to drive man and, you know and, and just get out there and be as safe as possible you know because anything can happen to anybody at any time so that's definitely a huge takeaway from that it's just it's crazy